We are back this morning with an important new documentary about civil rights icon Rosa Parks. Her refusal to give up her seat to a white man on a Montgomery, Alabama bus was just one action in a long life of activism. The new Peacock documentary, it's called The Rebellious Life of Mrs. Rosa Parks, shares some little-known stories, including the hardships she faced. Dr. King ends up getting the accolades. He is invited everywhere to speak, gets honorarium, makes money, survives. He, he's the hero. The civil rights groups would have her go out and speak at events and raise money, but it never occurred to anybody that they ought to find some way for them to be supported. I think that part of the way she was treated was because she was a woman, therefore taken advantage. Mm. And with us now, Soledad O'Brien, executive producer on the documentary, and Lonnie McCauley, Rosa Parks' grandnephew. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Good morning to you guys. This is, you know, I was just, I was watching this last night with one of my, with one of my kids, and I thought, sure, we all know Rosa Parks, let's just sit down and hear the story. I have to tell you, I learned so much. I think we've seen this picture of her, and we think we know the story, but there's so much to learn, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, it's what we found really interesting about the project was this idea of, we all know Rosa Parks. Right. Yep. There's never been a doc done hmm. on Rosa Parks before, it's which is in and of itself hard to believe. And then all the things that you thought you knew about Rosa Parks, the accidental civil rights activist, she wasn't accidental at all. at all. And so we really wanted to uh, tell the story and make sure people understood Rosa Parks in her, her, her fullness of her story and, and accuracy, too. You know, Lonnie, you kind of uh, alluded to it in that little piece we heard there, but a lot of people, and you feel very strongly about this, a lot of people kind of let Rosa Parks down, especially when it came to her legacy. Mm. How so? They did. They did. Um, you have to realize that uh, she did so much um, work, and it was never, you know, you know, celebrated for that point. Um, you know, she she had, uh, you know, many of things to uh, to give to the world, and you know. Um, this documentary definitely, you know, tells that story. But at the same time, it feels like we all let her down because, you know, it's taken so long mm -hmm. to tell this story. Yeah. But I'm so happy that it is coming out on Wednesday yeah. on mm -hmm. the Peacock Network. I am so happy about that. And as Chanel mentioned, you know, we, we did learn a lot about Rosa Parks. I can only imagine what it was like doing the research. What were some of the most shocking things you discovered? Mm. I mean, I, I found it interesting. She couldn't find work where she lived in. Right, anymore. that in and of itself, the idea that at the end of the bus boycott, kind of everyone's like, so it all goes back yeah. to normal. Well, yeah. not for Rosa Parks and her husband, never able to work again. That's what brought them to Detroit to live mm -hmm. with family members. The idea that Rosa Parks on that one day was just tired, she would set the record straight many times. She'd say, I was no more tired than I was on any other work day. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I was tired of being treated poorly. Mm -hmm. And she said that she really felt like um, the story of Emmett Till was what really guided her and, and kind of gave her the strength to, to put up this protest. Also, the idea that Claudette Colvin, yes. who was the young woman you might remember, who sat on the bus before Rosa Parks, mm -hmm. Rosa Parks was her mentor. Mm -hmm. I hadn't realized that the two of them there knew was. each other. So there were so many things. I think the story of women, mm -hmm. especially black women in the civil rights movement, was often, they were kind of left out of the yeah. story. I mean, that was part of it. And also people like the story of, like, an mm -hmm. accidental just happened versus... Her activism. For right. years. Yes. She was purposeful mm -hmm. about it. She, for decades, she, right? She was a strategist. She was kind. Mm -hmm. She was understanding. She was a teacher. She was hardcore. She was hardcore <laughs> and very rebellious. Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> excuse me. This documentary, you know, highlights all of that. It's interesting. You know? I was just telling you, you know, when I met you earlier this morning, mm -hmm. we picture her, a lot of us is like kind of meek, you know, yeah. like you said, like life happens to her. It's like, oh, no, no, sure. no. She was an activist. Uh, so now tell me this then. The rest of us know that part of her. But what about his Aunt Rosa? You know, yeah, just absolutely. Aunt, you know? She was our patriarch. You know, this is what I can talk about forever mm -hmm. because, you know, unfortunately, all my patriarchs had passed away in 1977 and 81. So by yeah. default, she became our patriarch mm -hmm. and you know she raised us you know she changed my diaper you know what i mean <laughs> she uh came to my school you mm -hmm. know when the kids were teasing us she still came to my mm -hmm. school and set them straight and said hey wow. i'm her i'm uh their great aunt so i thought you wait know, what is this that wonderful. we're looking at 
a great aunt visit. Great aunt visit. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it made the news. Right there. It made the news. They're, oh, there it is. <laughs> did people yeah. believe you? Like, you know, they did not. They, they did not. You. This is the reason why she came. You know, you got to yeah. understand that. You know, we were teased. Me and my sister were teased relentlessly yeah. over that. They're so, like, Rosa Parks isn't really your aunt. Exactly. Yeah. They say Martin Luther <laughs> King is my granddad. Yeah. <laughs> and then know, so. she shows and up. She shows cool. up. Yeah. And by the way, I, I'm not going to say how long you and I have known each other. <laughs> a minute. But, but are you about to be empty? almost empty nest? God willing, yes. I'm very excited about it. Listen, I love them, but they need, we all need to move out of the house. That's yes. right. As Al Roker okay. Sr. used to say, can't miss you if you don't leave. Exactly. <laughs> no, very good. Soledad Lonnie, thank you so much. Thank you Pleasure. so much for coming and sharing problem. this. And thank the rebellious life of Mrs. Rosa Parks premieres October 19th on Peacock, the streaming service from our parent company, NBC Universal. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.